So this is my NFT I printed out. It's a Cyber Bandit, which is a cool collection from Michael Reader. I printed this on aluminum. There's an issue up here, though, where it's kind of bent. I don't know if you can really see it, but luckily I contacted the company that printed it. And they sent me out a non-bent one, which is sweet. That gives me an extra one. And just about the same time this happened, I got a um, this collection of Cyber Bandit stickers. So that got me thinking how I could use this one. I was thinking maybe I could, I could leave these stickers packed up, but I'm not into that. I like to use things. So looking at these, I was thinking maybe I could like make my own art piece somehow on here. These are pretty sweet stickers. They're nice and large. So those are about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine of them. On the back here, they line up some like this. So I was thinking I could do the same. I could do the same like this. That's this guy. Let's see, this one is down here. And I could leave it with this on the background, but I'm probably not going to do that. So what I was thinking is... This is like, the blue is pretty cool. It's used for a bunch of these for the sky. So I grabbed some just blue paint. Oh, this is just something off Amazon. Some acrylic paint. I figured I could like just make like a blue background. And then I was thinking maybe like instead of instead of having four like that, maybe I just do three. And then do like three the other way. I'm not sure which ones yet, but that might look kind of cool. And then if the you know just picture like the background's all blue, that might look pretty sweet. So if that was all blue, and then no matter how you hang it, it'd look kind of cool. You could do four and four, but maybe just keeping it simple, doing three and three would look cool. I even had a thought, like, what if I left this part way, or like just painted part of it or something? I'm not sure, I think it'll be better to... Or you could just leave just the halo, but I don't think so. I'm just going to do a solid blue, and we'll see what happens. So let's mix up this paint, and then I'm gonna hit that with blue. I'm not even sure if this acrylic will stick to aluminum, but we'll find out. See if I have a knife. If you're not familiar with that NFT collection, it's a really cool collection that if you have, if you own 10 of them by a certain date, which is about a week from now, you'll be able to choose one of your NFTs and they'll um, Michael will print it and sign it, so it's like a one of one print, which is pretty sweet. I don't have a great stick to mix this up, so I'm just going to use a different paintbrush. Use what you have, I guess. And then we'll just hope this actually sticks onto that. It doesn't just make a huge mess. Either way, it'll be an interesting experiment. They look decent printed on aluminum, considering they're, um, you know, it's not the high quality print since it comes from the, just uh, from OpenSea. You know, since it's from a website, it's only like 72 DPI. Not bad though, it's printed I think the size is about 10 by 10 inches, so it wasn't horrible.
Very professional here. Looks about right. Looks like it'll be a nice blue. It's pretty close to the one in the background. All right, let's try this out. So tempting just to paint part of it. There we go. That's a custom one. Well, it feels like the paint's gonna stick, so that's cool. I've used this, whatever this brand is. Folk art, home decor. I use it on a, a different thing, different project. I was painting some wood in a mirror, a different color, and that worked out pretty well too. So, it seems like a pretty versatile acrylic paint. We have a ton of colors too. I don't know if this will need another coat or what. Guess we'll see once it dries. Little roller would be nice for this, but I don't have one. So we'll make this work. That should just about do it for the first coat. I don't want to go too thick. Smooth this out and then I'll let that dry and probably do another coat since it looks like it's kind of pulling apart somewhat. Yeah, all right, just get that right there. All right, I'm gonna leave it like that and then we'll dry it up pretty well. So I'm gonna do another coat here, see what coat two looks like. a few hours after I added the first coat so I'll do one more and then maybe see if that's thick enough or if it needs a third Looks like it's making it nice and thick, so you can see where there's that halo that's really coming right through the first coat, so and then there's the white border that's coming through, so we'll see how the second coat does. We have enough for a third if we need it.
And it's pretty good. It's like under 10 bucks. So it's a decent amount. For the price. I wasn't sure how this was going to stick in the aluminum, but it seems to be working pretty well. The company was um, Illuminize.com. That's where I got these. The NFT printed. They have good customer uh, support there, so it was cool they sent me out another one after that first one, this one had a bend in it. They must have bent it when they were putting the backing on it, the hanger. And so, you can't really hang on a wall. It would drive me nuts having a, just a bent spot. Like you'd really see in the light, but at least I can kind of repurpose it for this piece, so that's cool. So that's about it there. Just clean this up a little. Looks like looks like two will pro would probably be enough, but I might just add a third anyway, just to just because I have the paint and then I want to make sure I get it better before I put the stickers on. You don't want to. Has some of the old art shining through after you do the stickers and it's too late. Do you want to try to paint around the stickers? That'd be a mess. Alright, code two. A little sneak peek of options here. So coat two is dried. Um, I think I'm gonna do one more coat. Just I want to make sure I get the corner of the aluminum edges, the kind of the bottom I missed. So I'm gonna get that. But it's dry enough. I could kind of test out some options here. I kind of see like three options for putting the art. One would be like this. Two go in each direction. It's kind of cool. You could flip it different any direction when you hang it but i think it's a little bit too busy i kind of like the idea of just doing one on each side i don't know which ones i'd use yet but it keeps it simpler like that that might be what i end up doing Uh, the other option would be to do, like, I mean, you could do three in the bottom, or you could do four in the bottom. I'd do, like, three. That fills it out enough, but still gives a lot of empty space. That looks pretty good. I was even thinking of maybe painting a couple of the, the clouds, like these clouds, but I think there's too much space, kind of. I could just do a mix like this, three in the bottom and then like this. That might actually be kind of cool. So it'd look like that from the top from the bottom. I mean, you could hang it anyway, anyway, since it's a square, so it kind of makes it look cool. Hang it like that. Hang it like this. Yeah, that might actually be what I do. Three, one, and one. I kind of like that. Maybe not these exact ones. Probably won't use a skull, but... Kind of like this guy. Maybe something like that. Or this. Get that green in there. Yeah, 
Yeah, that would be my favorite one right there, actually. Let me save that idea when the movie's over. I'm gonna do the one more coat, though, just to make sure that I get everything. See, it looks pretty good. I think at the bottom, aluminum, though. Here's what the hanger looks like. All right, final coat. Getting close. Our trusty mixer here. I'm tempted to paint a couple clouds on there. Maybe eventually I will, but probably not for this first one. It's good to know the paint actually works on this aluminum because in the future I can paint over some other ones I have if I get bored with the photo I have printed on it. Kind of the same way um, you can always paint over old canvases instead of just throwing them away. It's nice to reuse things. Three. Make sure I get those edges. So it's the bottom where I hadn't really gotten it. Get this one now. Wasn't too sure after the first coat. Well, as I was doing the first coat, if it was actually gonna work, since it was kind of like pulling apart, wasn't sure if maybe it wasn't gonna work without a primer or something. But nice to see it did.
Mash it just about to it there. Perfect. All right, paint's all dried now. So let's move on to the fun part now. Decide what goes where. So let's see. I like the ideas of either the four corners. Kind of like that. Maybe a little bit too much space here. I think I like three in the bottom also. And then maybe two across the top up here maybe. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Maybe this one over right here. No, actually the green looks better. On the bottom. This one looks good by itself up there. That might be the winner. It fills it up nicely, but it leaves enough white space. Yeah, I like that. Let's see how it looks with this. I can hang those right next to each other. Let's have a look. Sweet. What the heck? Alright, so I'm eventually going to stick these on here, but I think for now, I'm going to make sure I don't change my mind. So I'm just going to tape them on there and then hang this and then. Make sure I don't change my mind because once I stick them, I obviously can't redo it. So I'll give this like a week. And if I haven't changed my mind by then, then I'll stick them on there for good. Kind of paint some shadows behind it. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe I will. Not today, but maybe at some point. Alright, let's take this all up. Still tempted to put a cloud on here. I was even thinking you could cut like a. I mean, if you had like a wood shop, you could cut a wood cloud, obviously. But even without that, you could do like a cardboard, so it's thicker. Just cloud and paint that and stick it on. It'd be kind of cool. Alright, is that how he's going? Yeah, he's going to go like that. At least the flat edges line up with the edge of this aluminum. Yeah, that one holds pretty good by itself. He's got the halo. Kind of like that guy. And then, let's see, so these kind of need to go together. Actually, you'll be able to tuck them under since it's I'm not actually sticking them. I got this guy. I kind of just line up the flat part. So the flat part's hidden and then you get a nice little negative space there. Do the same for this so you can see the back of his 
bandana on the blue. Looks about even. Yeah, that's pretty cool three because there's a nice amount of white space. Boom. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, those look cool next to each other. I'm happy with that for now. So, like I said, I'll give that like a week after I hang it and then see if I want to switch anybody else out for the final version. But, yeah. I like how that came out. Sweet.